What's up traders, Andrew O'Connell here with Pristine Capital. Welcome to your market recap video. It is October 17th of 2022. Let's dive into today's action. Mm -hmm. S&P 500 finished the day up 2.52%. What a fantastic comeback for the market. We have the NASDAQ QQQ up 3.3%. IWM small caps up 3.17. Dogs of the Dow up 1.77%. And the ARK Innovation ETF back in its rightful spot, up almost 7% on the session. Interestingly enough, TLT and the long bond didn't really cooperate with the rally. But on the other hand, it did not plunge into the abyss at the very least. Almost all these indices closed towards the upper end of their day's range. We did have a pullback in volatility, but nothing major. And we had overwhelmingly positive breadth. We had 92% advancers in the small caps. We had 94% up volume. And the trend model once again flipped from a negative one reading to a plus one reading. Today's economic data, barely anything. We had the New York Empire State Manufacturing Index. It came in a little bit lighter than expected. And remember, we've been in this bad news is good news and vice versa market environment. Now, let's take a look here. What did we do? Today's news, this was Kashkari. This is old news, but Kashkari is going to be speaking tomorrow. The VIX futures these actually remained inverted. So we're still not out of the eye of the storm, even though we had a good day today. Finviz heat map, look at this. What a nice change, green across the screen. A lot of the stocks that have been the hardest hit actually rallied the most, like Tesla up a full 7%, pretty wild stuff. Sectors, we had nice broad-based rally once again. ARK Innovation ETF, that was our best performing sector ETF. And then really just broad participation across the board. Style Factors High Beta was up 3.11%. That was followed by Small Cap Value up 2.93%. In terms of trades, we took the long AEHR common shares for $15.61. We had outlined this setup on the Pristine Capital Weekend Watchlist video. So we'll take a look at AEHR in just a moment. Now let's take a look here at these indices. S&P 500 looking pretty good. This is our hourly chart. And every single week I send out an email to all pristine capital members with these weekly value areas for all the index ETFs. And we could see from the pre-market that we were already trading inside of our weekly value area and we started to push through it. We ended up by the open getting a nice breakout from the weekly value area and we consolidated those gains throughout the session. It is always a good thing when price moves higher and then this sideways movement is what we call price acceptance, where there, ha there is some back and filling that occurs, some shares changing hands, maybe some players that bought you know, at the absolute lows, dishing off shares, other players buying in, et cetera, et cetera. That's definitely very healthy. In terms of the daily chart, this is very important. We have our teal downward trend line and the S&P 500 is once again pushing back up to it. And then we also have our 20 day simple moving average, which is the pink line. Did we close above it? We closed pretty much right on top of it, team. So after one day of rally, we're in a state of affairs where the market's gone sideways for so long. At this point, it's almost gone sideways for 20 days. And that is why the 20 day simple moving average caught down to price. Now it's such an easy hurdle to clear and we know there's going to be buy stops coming into play once we take out that level. So I think so long as these companies are reporting earnings this week, the Netflixes of the world, the Teslas of the world, so long as they don't completely bomb, I think we have a very easy hurdle to clear to get back inside of this monthly value area. And from there, I think the first real test is going to be, you know, of course, this 37.47 spot 25, that's the monthly value area low. But I think the real test for the market is going to be at 39.02 spot 75. Now, this is pretty important. Our dollar index did come off the highs today, which is awesome. And if you see my red lines here, it does appear that the dollar index just made a lower high, which is exactly what we needed to see and wanted to see. Also, UK bond yields, these did come off the highs as well. Remember, this was our canary in the coal mine. 
the UK bond market and pension system was blowing up. These are the UK bond yields of the various tenors. You can see the three year, five year, seven year, 10 year, and so on and so forth. And this is about a month of price action. And look at this latest move. We have this downward move in these bond yields, which is exactly what we wanted and needed. Excuse me. Let's take a look here at our NASDAQ and then we'll pull up AHR common shares. NASDAQ also looking pretty solid. Now we're above this 10 day EMA. Russell 2000, this stock has been a leader, or not this stock, this index. We're already back inside the monthly value area and we're above the 20 day simple moving average. We've been basing out for about three weeks now. What comes next? The moon? Nah, who knows? We'll see. I say that now and then tomorrow it'll be like, oh, now we lost 3% again. No, I really think that so long as the UK pension system is all right, the dollar index is all right, I think we're okay. Dow Jones also moving inside of this monthly value area. Now, the only kicker today is that these treasuries did not really participate a whole lot. And they did come off the highs. 10-year treasury futures closed green, but nothing special. Now, there's the theory that you know we need a nice balance in these treasuries. We need them to start moving off the lows. That could be the case, but we've been in a massive treasury sell-off. Could it be that even just a sideways movement will be celebrated by the markets? It seems like that could be the case. Our 30-year treasury futures, these actually closed red today ever so slightly. But again, perhaps the peak in volatility in these treasuries is behind us now. It certainly helped. Now let's take a look at AHR. This is the position that we added today. And again, this was one of the setups from our pristine capital weekend watch list. We send this out every week and we detail some high probability trading setups for members. Now we're already almost at the target level, but I think this stock, it's just behaving so well despite a really negative tape. So I think this is a stock, could it hit 19 bucks? Absolutely, could it hit 20 bucks, 21? I think that could really be in the card. So I will likely take a target if we get up to this 1729 target level, but I'm likely gonna keep a majority of this position on the books. By and large, today was a much more positive day. Let's check out our ARK Innovation ETF. This thing has been absolutely brutalized, but look at this, we closed above the summer lows. And if you look at the hourly chart, we are trying to move above this weekly value area. So we are moving out of consolidation on all of these indices, despite really only bad news in the market. So things are definitely looking up. We don't have any huge economic data points tomorrow, but watch out for those earnings. We have Netflix coming out and a few other names. With that being said, that about does it for this market recap video. Hope you all had a great trading session. We'll see you all next time.